In this particular video session, I am going to talk about how to find out all the perfect numbers between a given range. Let us say the variable R1 represents the lower part of the range and R2 represents the end part of a range. Let us say the range starts from 1 or let's say the range starts from 5 to 100. So if the range starts from 5 to 100, the perfect numbers between 5 and 100 are going to be 6 and 28. So I am going to do or find a solution to this particular perfect number problem using functions. So what I have done is I have declared a function main. I have an integer variable r1 representing the lower part of the range, integer variable r2 representing the upper part of the range. I am asking the user to enter the values of R1 and R2. Then since I want to find all perfect numbers between R1 and R2, I am not doing any initialization. As long as the value of R1 is less than or equal to R2, I am sending each number R1 to a function called as perfect. And in this function called as perfect, I am trying to find out whether the number is a perfect number or not. If it is a perfect number, I am printing the perfect number. Otherwise, I am coming back here, increasing the value of R1. So suppose R1 started with 5. Next time R1 will become 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and so on. So perfect function is going to accept a data of the type integer that's why if you see the parameter is an int it is not going to return any data type that's why I have shown it as void here. So let's go ahead and try to type the function perfect okay. So I'm going to type function perfect and the data type I'm going to say is int number because number is being passed from there. Then I'm defining one variable called as fact sum. I'll let you know why I'm defining fact sum, but be sure you initialize fact sum to zero. Now, for an integer variable, i is starting from one, okay? As long as the value of i is less than or equal to number by two, because the last number which can divide a given number is has to be at the most half of that number. So suppose the number is 10, the biggest number other than itself, which can divide the number has to be five. 6 cannot divide 10, 7 cannot divide 10. Then what I am going to do in this particular loop is I am going to check whether the number is perfectly divisible by i. Okay, so if number mod i is equal to 0, that means that number is perfectly divisible by i. So suppose the number of 6. 1 would divide 6, 2 would divide 6, 3 would divide 6 and so on. So if number mod i is 0, then what I am going to do is I am going to say fact sum is assigned fact sum plus i in the sense the factor is added to the fact sum. And then let, I don't think I require this bracket here, but let's yeah, let's take this off. I don't think I require this bracket here. I think I'll take this chap also off. So it looks the program looks a little more compact. Okay, so I am doing this. So now what is happening in this for loop is it is starting with i is one. Let's say the number is six. So one is less than or equal to three because six by two is three. So six mod one is zero is true. So fact sum is zero plus one. I then becomes two. Then what happens is 2 is less than or equal to 3. So 6 mod 2 is again 0. So fact sum is 1 plus 2. Fact sum becomes 3. i is now becomes or becomes 3. 3 is still equal to 3. So 6 mod 3 is equal to 0. Fact sum is equal to the old value 1 plus 2 plus 3. So fact sum is equal to 6. i now becomes 4. 4 is definitely not less than or equal to 3. So I will come out of the loop. Once I come out of the loop, I'm just going to do a check. I am going to say if fact sum is equal to the original number, that means I'm going to say, okay, I'm just going to print that number. Okay, I'm just going to print that number that it's a perfect number. 
all right so you need to understand what i am trying to do here i am trying to check whether the sum of factors that is factors which divide that number and the remainder is zero is equal to the original number if that is the case i am printing the number as a perfect number in order to understand the logic or algorithm of how this perfect number is found out take a look at the description of this particular video there is a link to the algorithm of how to find whether a given input number is a perfect number or not so this should be fine with the logic now let's try to see by compiling this program and seeing if it really works so we will copy this particular piece of program and take it over to the online gdb compiler in the online gdb compiler we'll get a hang of whether this particular thing is trying to work or whether it's working or not so first let's try to compile this particular program okay we're fortunate the compilation is working so let me give the input range as one okay and output range as let's say 100 so i expect two numbers between 1 and 100 1 is 6 and 1 is 28 so so far so good it's showing 6 and 28 as the perfect numbers between 1 and 100 let's try one more set of one more range let's try between let's try between uh, sorry let's try between let's say 5 to 1000 let's see how many perfect numbers turn out okay so it's given us three perfect numbers between one and sorry between five and thousand which happen to be 628 and 496 so this is the way you go ahead and find the perfect numbers in case you want to see all the factors you can simply print the value of i by putting a bracket here if you put a bracket here you can print all the factors which number was divisible and the remainder was zero so this way you will know what are the factors let's try to do that okay because there are so few perfect numbers so i can just simply print i can simply print i is i can simply print percentage d and i can say i all right so this way you'll end up knowing what are the perfect what are the factors of the perfect number all right so this i'll put a backslash n so that this fellow goes on the next line otherwise you'll just get confused what are the factors and what are the actual numbers okay so somewhere we missed a flower bracket here let's put it here and let's compile and run it sorry let's give the range between just four and hundred so that we're able to see things okay between four and ten all right so between 4 and 10 6 is the only factor but this kind of confused us uh, because all right so i entered the range between 4 and 10 so if you look at it it is it is showing me every every time this remainder is zero so it's not only showing me uh, when the number is 6 but it's showing me when the number is not 6 also so but if you see here this is it 1 2 and 3 are the factors when 6 is showing up as the perfect number so you can play around with things like this and then get a hang of it but right now i'll just chop this off so you can try to look at what are the factors and so on okay so i, so I hope this gave you an idea of how to find perfect numbers between a given range of numbers the most important concept here is how to write a function which does not return a value which accepts a parameter of the type integer okay and i am passing all the numbers in the for loop using this function called as perfect r1 so r1 is being passed here r1 gets copied to a variable called as number and number is being checked whether that fact sum is equal to the number to show whether an input number is a perfect number or not